Hello everyone, here is our project architecture. As you can see, our database is Microsoft SQL Server. Even though we are not going to design our database first, but finally the generated database will be in your Microsoft SQL Server. And our business objects that we are going to use throughout our application will be C Sharp plain old CLR objects, so C Sharp classes with properties. And my data access layer will be entity framework code first. And I'm going to write my business logic using C Sharp. And this business logic layer will be wrapped up using ASP.NET Web APIs. So throughout all these three layers, I'll be using my business objects. That means to pass data from API to business logic layer and business logic layer to data access layer, I'll be using business objects. And this service, I'm going to use it in AngularJS UI. So my UI will be AngularJS. So that is nothing but web client. All these things I'll be implementing in an IDE that is Visual Studio 2015. So this is our basic architecture. To proceed further, we need to understand our requirement and break them into objects, identify the relationships and build business object layer first. So we will try to understand that. So after looking into a requirement, we can say that we have two users who are going to access my application. One is admin, another is employee, or you can say normal user is an employee. Admin can manage single or multiple employee profiles, perform all CRUD operations. Whereas employee can view or update their own profiles. Now you can see that I have admin, employee and profile as objects that I can pick up from this. Admin and employee, both of them are employees. And the complete information about an employee is nothing but profile. So what I can say, I have an employee with two roles. One is admin, another is user. And the complete information of the employee is profile. So in simple words, I get two objects. One is employee, another is role. How do I differentiate admin and normal employee with the help of role? Now, what would be the relationship between these two? So say there is a role admin, so I can have n number of admins. If there is a role user, I can have n number of users or n number of employees. So normally the relationship between role and employee is one to many. One role can have n number of employees. But in reverse, one employee belongs to multiple roles. For our requirement, we are not giving that feature. You can see that objects we have role and employee. Roles you can differentiate with uh, two records, say admin and user. In future, I may get many other roles. I may get a role HR. I may get a role for accounting, accounts manager. So I can extend this application to any level and I have employee. As you can see the relationship role and employee one to many. Now that means I'll get two objects or you can say two classes. One is a role, another is employee. And role ID will be foreign key in employee class or role ID will be a referential in employee class. So that is this. So this is my business object layer. I have class role, role ID, role name, role code and a particular role contains n number of employees. Now what is employee? Employee is there. Employee ID, first name, last name, the complete information and role ID. Role ID is the reference that I am getting from role table. So anyway, this is our business object layer. That means we will be creating a class library. So the first step that we are going to perform here is creating a class library name as eis.bol business object layer. And we are going to add two classes or two objects role.cs and employee.cs.